just a lazy outfit for today because I'm doing a writing vlog. Colorful socks. So before I begin, I'm going to do a little desk tour. So this is my typewriter. I keep this plastic piece on to protect the keyboard from dust. Uh, my salt lamp. Um, those are some scissors that are like in a sword hilt thing that we got from the Renaissance Fair. And also something that you can attach to your belt that holds like a teacup and saucer, which I thought was really cool. Um, some hand lotion because my hands get very dry and cracked in the winter and winter is coming. Just a colorful beanie baby. I also have some more colorful plushies up top along with Meowth and Lord Frieza there. And down here we have my combat boots which have seen better days and my multiple tab folder things so that I can organize my different projects. Also, tea light holder, which doesn't have a candle in it at the moment. Um, some assorted pens for when I need to make corrections. Even though this does have a backspace on it, sometimes I get really like far down in the page and I notice a mistake up top so I can just scratch it out and make the correction. And then just place a random mug here. Today it's the mug I got from a colleague of mine, another writer here in Delaware. And I've been really into the color orange lately, I guess because Halloween is coming, so yeah. And then here I have some notebooks of other projects, a folder down there, um, some copies of the old version of the comic book, and then of course Frieza and Agretzko and stuff. So yeah, um, today I'm going to be working on one of the projects in here. All right, here's the project I'm working on currently. It's a novelization of the um, first game in the Mother series, just called Mother. Um, and I believe I'm 20 pages in for the typewriter. Oh, a blank page. I can use that. 20 pages in. So where I last left off, um, Ninten had returned to the department store and he's going to get the baby chick to return to his mother. Um, this is a thing that happens in the game. <laughs> um, I actually haven't written any of this story, like I haven't worked on the story, um, since before we moved into the new house. So it's been like two months, which is why I needed a little refresher just reading over this last page that I did. So I may be a little slow to start, but once I get back into the groove, I'll be able to do it. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys uh, soon with a check-in on my progress. All right, I made a lot of mistakes on this page. However, I've written a page and a quarter, um, so I'm going to take a little bit of a break and make myself something to eat because I am pretty hungry. But yeah, pretty good progress so far. The sun is setting and I'm getting chilly, hence the bathrobe, so I made sure to turn my air conditioning down because um, it's actually starting to feel like fall now. So I'm going to do another round of writing and then I will have to do the dishes and call it a day, so I'll see you guys soon. So I actually thought I would just finish the chapter. So here's what I got done today. One, two, two and a half pages, and I need to write the page number up there. But yeah, I figured, oh, what's another half a page? Finish the chapter off. And um, yeah, 
pretty successful writing day, if I do say so myself. Just wanted to check in with a purring gato. Soren. What a good boy. Hey guys, it's super early in the morning, so I look a hot mess. Um, I haven't written a lot um, in the past couple days just because I've been really busy with work and getting some stuff done before today because I have jury duty today. <sighs> so... I have written a little bit just on random scraps of paper while it's slow at work or something just so that I get something done and I'm not like, I mean, I wouldn't say it's a waste of time not writing when you're like working, but um, I just wanted to get something done. Um, so when I'm at work, I don't work on Mother, but I work on another project. Um, I'm working on a new short story collection, so that's exciting. And I'm trying to do a themed short story collection this time, because my last short story collection, um, it was just a collection of random short stories I had written. So this one, I want to have the stories all have the same not like the same theme, but like the same genre. Um, I want them to be all more fantasy oriented so that way people know what to expect from all of the stories when they pick the book up. And I feel like that will attract more people to the book than if it was just like a bunch of random short stories. Am I making any sense? I don't know, it's 6 a.m. Um, I have a piece of donut stuck in my teeth. I'm sorry. Um, I needed some chocolate to help wake me up, okay? I'm really not used to getting up this early in the morning, and I'm just going to be sitting in a room with a bunch of other people doing nothing for hours and hours. <sighs> so I'm bringing, like, three books with me because... I am like halfway through one of them and I started the second one. The third one I haven't touched at all, but I just want to make sure I have all my bases covered because for all I know I could be there for 10 hours. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I want to say. Oh, I am taking my writing with me as well, so if I get sick of reading, I can work on some writing there. So I will get more done, hopefully. Um, yeah, I'm just really not looking forward to it, to be honest. Um, sorry you have to see me like this, looking like crap in the bad yellow lighting over there and the bad blue-white lighting over here. Um, so I'll check in with you guys later. Maybe I'll have written more. Maybe I won't. We'll see. Anyway, wish me luck. Well, it's been a long day, but, um, I survived jury duty. Thankfully, I didn't have to, uh, take part in any trials or anything, so that's good news. Um, I came home and I took a nap and I actually did get some writing done, so let me show you. Um, I've been writing it in this notebook and I've gotten three pages done, obviously first one and then these two so yeah it's progress um i don't know when this project's going to be finished um it's the short story collection i was talking about earlier 
because I don't have all of the stories planned quite yet. I only have two stories planned and a concept for a third story. So not really enough for a full collection. Oh, by the way, the reason why I didn't get more writing done today is because I was totally falling, falling, following the stereotype of um, authors procrastinating by cleaning the house because I vacuumed and swiffered the floor after I woke up from my nap. So at least I was productive in some way today. I was productive in the writing too, but not as much as I wanted to be. Hi again everyone, um, I'm coming back to you on a completely different day because I am really bad at consistently filming, but hey, that's okay, this is a vlog for writing, so I can only really update when I've done more writing, and I have done more writing. So uh, yeah. If you hear any noises in the background, that's because we have the window open because it's nice weather today and I wanted to allow my cat to enjoy the nice weather. Looking out the window. Like a cutie. Um, so yeah, I did get some more writing done. I have it all in this notebook. So as you can see, it says the clover patch, but I wanted it to have a sort of subtitle. So I originally came up with the Clover Patch colon modern fairy tales. But modern fairy tales make it makes it sound like the stories are fairy tale retellings, but they're not. They are completely new fairy tales that I came up with. Like one is called The Hare and the Cricket. And I'm pretty sure there's not a fairy tale called The Hare and the Cricket. If so, this is completely different from that and not related in any way. So, um, yeah, modern fairy tales just makes it sound like, oh, I'm like doing my own spin on Snow White and my own spin on Sleeping Beauty and Rapunzel and blah 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 when I'm not at all. I'm coming up with my own stuff. So, I wanted to get your guys's, I don't know if that's even a phrase or a word that exists, but I wanted to get uh, your opinion on what the subtitle should be because I really can't think of anything that is good sounding. <laughs> um, so yeah, I definitely want to have uh, fairy tales in the title because I want people who buy this book to know that it's a themed short story collection as opposed to um, Barely Adrift, which is just like a collection of short stories that I wrote and none of them really have anything that connects them all. Um, but this one will have something that connects them all. Um, I don't know if I'm making any sense, but if you have any suggestions of what the subtitle could be, that would be great. I do want to keep the clover patch though, because, um, it kind of makes me think of like, you know, uh, telling fairy tales out in the meadow or in a garden or something. And, um, also it's a play on my name. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Please leave your suggestions in the comments because I definitely need help. Um, and I don't really know how to end off this vlog, so I guess I'll just end it here. Um, thank you all for watching this vlog. It was my first one, so I apologize if I was really sporadic with it. Anyways, um, I will see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.